Hey everyone, welcome back. This video, we're gonna review everything we've talked about so far in this series. So if you want the code that we're gonna go through, which I would recommend you do yourself, then what I would do is go to github.com slash Caleb Curry, go into my Python repository, and then go into Python. I might change it to Python programming, FYI, but we'll see. And then we're gonna go through 01 intro, and you can just copy all this and go through it in your text editor. All right, so here is the code, and this is pretty much what we started with in video number one. And the whole goal here is to become more familiar with lists, counting, and list comprehension. So it's a lot of stuff, and we should be able to get through it pretty quickly, though. Since, you know, it's review, you guys should have all this memorized, right? So the very first thing is how to create a list and how to add elements to the list. Obviously, I need to really figure out my diet plan here because I keep going back and forth between what foods are considered healthy. But right now, it looks like we're going to go with some junk food. I'm going to consider that to be healthy here. And when you print that, it comes out as a list in the square brackets. You can print the list all together, which is actually pretty convenient. In other languages, you might try that with an array and you might just get a memory address. So you don't have to iterate through the data, which is nice. Now checking if an element is in the list is actually super easy. All you have to do is put the element you're looking for. We're working with strings here, so we put the string and then say in healthy. So we're asking is chicken pot pie in healthy? And considering it's disgusting, I'm not gonna consider it as healthy and we get false. And the reason it's false is because in that original list, we only have pizza, frozen custard, or apple crisp. Chicken pot pie is not one of the elements. You can use this within an if statement, so you see that here. We wrote out the backpack here, and pretty much if the pizza is considered healthy, then we print that we're eating it. Here's another example where we remove data from a list. So what we do is we have a backpack of items, and we check if pizza is considered to be healthy, and if it is, we remove it from the backpack. So those are the basics of lists, how to create them, how to add elements to them, how to check if elements are inside of them, and how to remove elements from the list. Next up, we have list comprehension. We just talk about the basics here. So what this does is we use list comprehension, and just to break this down, we look at this part first. For item and backpack, so for every single item in the backpack, if the item is considered healthy, so if it's in the healthy list, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that item. And that's where we get this output right here, kale chips, because it got rid of everything except either kale chips or broccoli. Yum, right? Another thing to call out is we have this slicing syntax after the list. When you do this, you're basically saying, hey, we wanna replace the entire list from beginning to end, which will ultimately keep the same object ID. So if you have any aliases for this, it's all going to update across all those aliases. If you don't use this, then you're actually going to be creating a new backpack object and the old one is either lost or if another variable points to it then it's going to have the previous data of this right here so that's getting into the details a little bit if you're fairly new so we'll get into some of that stuff later on now we have another way we could do something like this and in this scenario we are creating a new list and pretty much iterating through every item in the backpack checking if it's healthy and if it is healthy we're going to append it to this backpack list. And for some reason, I felt it necessary to put it in uppercase. <laughs> so that's why it says kale chips in all caps right here. Next up, we have some more list comprehension essentials. We just have an example where we square a series of numbers from zero to nine, and we're only going to do even numbers. So again, how to read through this for i in range 10, so that's gonna get zero to nine. If i is even, or another way you could word it is, if the remainder of dividing by two is zero, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that element, but we're going to square it. So the result is zero, four, 16, 36, and 64, which coordinates to zero squared, two squared, four squared, six squared, and eight squared. Next up, we took a break from this list comprehension garbage and started counting elements. So here we're printing length, which will tell you the total number of elements in a list, and we're doing that for the healthy and also for the backpack list. As a result, we get two and three, which makes sense. We got two healthy items and three items in our backpack. Just to call out, you might think of trying something like healthy.size or healthy.length, or you might even think healthy.count. None of these are gonna work, and in fact, count does something totally different, which is counting a specific element. So for example, if you're trying to look for pizza, you can do it like so, and you're gonna get the value one, because backpack currently has only one pizza in it. Another example of this is counting pizza slices. 
after we put three pizza slices into our backpack and we get the value three. You can use this count method to limit the number of items in a list. So in this situation, we say if backpack count pizza slice is less than three, then we're going to add a piece of pizza and you put a piece of pizza in your backpack for later. Otherwise, it suggests maybe you go to the gym. Next up, we talked about sets, and with these, you don't care about the order, and you don't care about the number because it's going to limit to just one, so there's no repeating data. All you wanna know is if the item is in the set or not. So you'll often do stuff like this, sword in backpack two, and yes, it is. We use sets to our advantage in this next list comprehension example to count, and basically, we're going to get all of the unique elements in the list and for each one of those items what we're going to do is we are going to count it and then print the name of it so as a result we get this output four rubber duck four slice of pizza four sword and so forth next up we try a new variation which is using counter and you import this from collections and just say counter and pass in the list it's actually a lot simpler in syntax and it is better performance so this is the recommended way of doing it and in this situation, it's going to give you a dictionary that looks pretty similar to our list. So rather than having a list of lists, we have a dictionary with key value pairs where the key is the name or the thing we're looking for, and then the value is the number of times it was found. So that is your review. Make sure you understand at least pretty good everything in this list before moving on to the next section. If there's anything that you're really just struggling with, go watch the video again and write out all the code and try to understand it. And trust me, just doing it a few more times will make the difference and help you understand the concepts. So thank you guys and stay tuned for the next one for the next section. Don't quit, stay with it, you got this.